Tropical Cyclone Grant is showing signs that it's starting to intensify as it moves into more favorable conditions. After a period of battling wind shear, satellite imagery now shows the storm's core becoming much more symmetrical, with deep convection beginning to wrap more consistently around the center. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single update as this situation develops. Grant's winds have increased up to around 100 km per hour, signaling that the environment is finally allowing this system to breathe and organize. The current trajectory has Grant tracking westward at a steady 14 km per hour, driven by a strong subtropical ridge to the south. Looking at the latest spaghetti plots, we see tight agreement for the first 60 hours, but the spread opens up significantly as we look toward the new year. There are currently two main scenarios. The ECMWF, European, model is the more aggressive northern solution, bringing Grant toward Mauritius and Reunion around the 2nd or 3rd of January. Meanwhile, the GFS, American, model suggests a southern dip, which would keep the core away from the islands but still bring intense swells and rain particularly to road rigs. What is most concerning is that nearly all intensity models indicate a significant drop in wind shear after day 3. This could be the trigger for rapid intensification, with some models now suggesting Grant could reach a peak intensity equivalent to a high-end category 2 or 3 as it nears the Mascarene Islands. Beyond Grant, we are keeping an eye on a surge in the monsoon trough in the Mozambique Channel. This area is funneling massive plumes of tropical moisture toward Madagascar, signaling that the quiet part of the season is officially over. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any updates. Here's a video you might find interesting. Also, leave any questions you may have in the comments.